What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another greedy draft. And uh, the degree draft is you open three packs like normal. Everyone plays two lands a turn, and you start with nine cards in hand, and you get no maximum hand size. So, no maximum hand size. So I kind of want to just draft a bunch of expensive things that draw me cards. I'm thinking like Smothering Tide could be good. Yeah, let's take the Smothering Tide and see what happens. Mortify is nice. Get the point is nice. Off color though, but mm, what can you do? Persistent petitioners, you guys were uh, bragging about this guy. I don't know how many we'd even find, so it's kind of risky. Um, leaning towards Mortify. Probably just taking the Mortify. Also, with Smothering Tide, we can actually just splash the Mortify and take like other big things. Clear the stage is nice. Hmm. Yeah, let's just take the clear the stage. I have no idea what that joke means. Frank loves a shot. Uh, it's probably just clear the stage. I like the blue cards, but there's no reason to take the blue cards. Uh, Ill-gotten inheritance was pretty good when we had it. I like Sphinx's Insight. I like being able to draw cards in this format, but I'm going to take Deal Got Inheritance because that's also pretty good on turn two. Now I will take an Insight. I don't think Forbidding, Forbidding Spirit or uh, Arrestor Zeal are better than just drawing two here. Mm -hmm. Prying Eyes? We can splash the black cards. It seems pretty easy to do. Prying Eyes or Ill-Gotten number two? Ill-Gotten number two, we'll stick with that for now, but I wouldn't mind picking up Prying Eyes based on the uh, advantages I've seen opponents have with it in this format, in this weird, weird format. Yeah, this is probably a Prying Eyes pack. And then we're just looking for all the Azorius slash um, Orzhov Guild Gates here. Petitioner? Do we just petition here? Are we petitioning? No. We're just going to take this crocodile. Oh yeah, we're deep into the Esper right now. Wow, another Prying Eyes? Alright, cool. We're going to play like 20 lands in this deck for sure. And we're just hoping for those guild gates, but I guess if we're playing 20 lands, starting with 6 cards in hand, it's not as uh, necessary. I like eyes everywhere. Um, Arrestor's Admonition, also good. Yeah, we'll take the eyes everywhere. Orzhov Guildgate, our first one. Better than Chillbringer? Probably. Yeah. I don't like it, but it's got to be done. Oh, second eyes everywhere, huh? Could also be Senate Griffin. Very satisfying. Senate Griffin. No, uh. Fairy Duelist. Very, very satisfying. Two eyes everywhere, is that good? Uh, Law Mage's Binding seems better than Thought Collapse here, interestingly enough. Hmm. I kind of like Clear the Mind here. I'm going to take the Skate Wing Spy, maybe. How did you get here? You last pick? Yeah, I'm just taking clear the mind here. Is 
deck is looking pretty interesting so far. I have no idea if this is a good direction to go, and I have no idea what we're doing. Dovin's Acuity, huh? I don't know how many instants we have that we can cast at sorcery speed here. Sphinx is Insight. Clear the stage. Prying Eyes. And, and to think about getting into EDH, I am not an EDH player, so I actually wouldn't know off the top of my head. It's either Thought Collapse or Dovin's Acuity here. I don't know which one it is, though. I think it's probably... I'm just leaning towards this because it's not double blue. High Alert was actually a card I was hoping for with Senate Courier and uh, Catacomb Crocodile. And Fairy Duelist, even. I think we have, like, three creatures, though, so let's try to pick up more creatures, maybe? But not like this guy. Quench actually seems pretty rough in the in the format where they can play two lands a turn. You've seen me play it, but I mean, usually I'm playing it with Mike, and Mike is like uh, taking the reins there. Another prying eyes? That's three prying eyes, man. Okay, so this is just a sweet comp. This is just a sweet control deck. Oh, Rakdos. Wow. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Nothing else in the pack, either. I guess we can take Knight Arbiter. Hmm. I don't think it's Rakdos. I'm just going to take the Night Arbor. Because, again, if we get the High Alert, if we decide to play High Alert, it's pretty good. Azorius Guildgate, probably the pick, even though we don't love it. I do want to have a couple Guildgates here. Another Fairy Duelist. As long as we can hit land drops, this is actually pretty interesting. Like, we could take the Humungulus and actually play the... I mean, it's either that or Oligarch, but I don't actually love... It looks like we're just splashing black here for the good cards. Oh, Sphinx's Insight. Goes well with Dovin's Acuity. Gateway Plaza. Well, I'll be going to GP Calgary. I don't have plans to go to any GPs as far as I can see. Hmm. I feel like Bring to Trial is actually better in this format because people are going to be playing a lot more fat, fat boys. Grasping Thrall also pretty good. Another crocodile for our. Hmm. Hmm. Take essence capture. Take arrestors admonition, which I actually think is better than code of constraint, and it goes well with Dovin's acuity again. Sure, Twilight Panther. I actually don't hate Pegasus just because of our um I can't think of the word high alert sure 
Wow, that's a late thought collapse. All right, so we really have some cuts to make here. We really need to figure out what's going on. Can I move this up some? Why do I have to scroll here when there's so much empty space here? So, Scuttle Gator we can probably cut. This definitely seems like we're erring on the side of High Alert here. What are the odds that this is actually going to hit? It's like very low, right? I'm just going to cut the clear the stage because black is our splash. I'm going to leave clear the mine because you do have two prying eyes and a sphinx's insight and a dovin's acuity. This deck actually looks pretty good. I think. I have no idea if this looks good, but I feel like it looks good. Maybe we want one fewer prying eyes. Maybe one prying eyes is enough. Maybe we could just play 44 cards. I don't know. Also, no maximum hand size is nice. 5, 10, 14, 17 lands. No, I want to add more. <laughs> Cut one eyes everywhere, I guess. How many creatures is this? I don't actually know. So I click on here. Eight creatures? Woof. So I think we're going to play 44 cards, what is this, 18 lands, 19 lands? 5, 6, 7, I don't think we need this many swamps. So this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, 9, and we can actually cut one of these, just add a million islands. So this is 8, 11, 16, 19. Alright, I'll give that a shot, I don't know if it's any good. Don't play the uncommon guy. Nothing. Nice. And now we get to scry for land drops every turn? That's pretty sweet.
Um, yeah, we'll keep that on the top. I mean, we missed a land drop, but we get seven power next turn, so. So we can play high alert, keep up fairy duelist. Um, as far as Facebook goes, I have been better. This is very good. That is just fine. Oh, it's a 34 though. That is, well, we have Rester's Ammunition actually. I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's actually great. Like, we can arrest his ammunition, and we can also um, just bounce this guy. Yep, that'll do. Wow. High alert with a bunch of high toughness gentlemen is pretty good. I don't hate this hand. That's a good hit. If they play like a six drop next turn, I don't have any way to deal with it, so I think we can wait. I would love to be able to get this guy out and then play it and keep it count. Oh, they didn't do anything. Alright. Go pick my mom from the airport. <laughs> Relax and Sam. Take take it easy, buddy. Always a pleasure. Drive safe, Moan Frere. Um. Yeah, that's a no for me on the six six down. All right, sure. Whatever, dude. Ditch too, huh? There's an island and another island. I see. The prying eyes tech is real. It's a 
thing, isn't it? Four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like our ill-gotten inheritance is uh, a significantly slower clock than this. You know, I'm no expert, but... Nope. That's actually very good. That's actually pretty good. Illegal. I had no idea. Well, I like they use the Mortify. The odds of having another Mortify seems low. Plus, this having the Law Mages binding on it is nice because it means it's probably gonna stay. Why do I even talk? I don't understand. It means it's probably gonna stay on the board. No, I don't think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they just pay one to play the gate costs again. Yeah, seems great. Get a high alert, huh? <laughs> I mean, actually, I mean that wouldn't have been great. Like they probably have infinite gates, so it's probably a huge problem. I think I would I think hosts I would say hosts yeah, that is not what we need all right wow fashion will lead to the party huh might as well steal this guy I guess I mean, we can just actually take this guy every single turn, right? Are they... What if... Hold on, hold on. Oh my god, we're one shy? No, we have a, we have a treasure. Oh, 
Oh, it's a creature. Oh, no. I thought it was a permanent. Oh, I would have been so gassed if we just bounced this. Ah, that sucks. I mean, still, we'd still have to do it anyway because we guess we could bounce this guy, but we could just do that later. Gonna keep going back and forth, and maybe this ill gotten inheritance kills them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dude's huge. Sure. Dovin's acuity, and we can arrest her's admonition something. Draw two. Oh, that seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. We could just actually bounce this guy and attack for seven. That actually seems pretty good. Thank you. Third tail, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. surprised we're holding on to this game it's kind of kind of comical yep all right well that might be the end then okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten six this puts us to six Actually, just block right one, two, three, eight, nine, ten, eleven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. 
I don't know how we deal with the. Oh, how we deal with this actually? Can we make this guy six and block here. Oh, that seems great. I mean, if they have nothing, it's pretty good. Oh wow, this could be nuts. Probably gonna do it then. Wow. Wow, Macaw. <laughs> oh boy. It's like our only creature in the graveyard, too. Wow, that's really ridiculous. Alright, well. Sideboard, did we just play? That was definitely a nutty one. This hand seems great. <laughs> it felt really close, yeah. I mean, I, I thought it was closer than I was expecting it to be, so... So we're probably just playing Sphinx's Insight here, because we can't do anything else. Oh, I feel like they have a quench here. That's unfortunate. Literally zero lands that let us play anything here. <laughs> yeah, there was definitely a Colossus tug of war there that was taking place. Okay, I actually don't mind that for the for this time. <laughs> Whatever that means. I can probably at, at least four, between four and six eyes, depending on what the eyes are. Probably just gonna play knight though. Oh, I probably should have held a land too for the prying eyes. That's stupid. What a dummy. Do we think they have a counterspell? Probably. Should we play the island? I don't think so. Are they running two quench? Oh, they're just going to respond with prying eyes. Okay. Sure. This is the most prying eyes I've ever seen played in this format. In this in this Ravnica Allegiance format. Three, four, five, six, seven. If we hit land, we can play both of these. We did not, but I still think that's fine. We can play this guy and please keep up the God, it's so obvious when you play it like this that it, what you have. <laughs> oh my god. 
so many eyes being pried. Are you watching you? That's good. I feel like we're pretty ahead here. Let's do that with Thought Collapse backup. So now we're dealing 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think we just won. This is just going to be hauling us pri private eyes, right? <laughs> of course it is. Yeah, so this doesn't do anything. <laughs> if Highlight resolves, that actually does nothing. Um. Okay. Our deck seems pretty sweet. Remember when they lyrics are private eyes? Are you watching you? <laughs> yeah, that was a good time. Oh, that's a hand that actually fine. Turn one gateway plaza into turn two smothering tide seems okay. Oh god. I always almost lead with it, because I'm like, well, I'm just going to play two lands at the same time, right? So I can just... Why do you have an opening hand of nine? Chris, I'm also playing two lands a turn. This is the Greedy Draft on MTG Arena, which is you start with nine cards in your opening hand, and you can play two lands a turn. And you have no maximum hand size. Oh, that's pretty good. Guardian Project is better than Smothering Tide here. How'd you lost you? Have a good night, buddy. Seven mana. I'll just take six. I'm not gonna jump block with my humongulus. The option was pass fairy duelist, make this guy a four or five and block, but when they have six man up, I'd rather just cast it five and left. So yeah, that seems better.
This is actually pretty good because now Fairy Duelist is going to wreck this guy. Unless, of course, they have any pump spell, which is pretty bad. But, you know, we can, we can hope. This is why I don't like best of one, because there's some things that just like, this guy comes out too early, and then you're like, oh, well, I can't beat that. But like, maybe in game two and three you could. But you just don't get a game two and three. This is a best of one, this is a greedy draft. Because now we can make it a 5-5 five, five again, but it still has first strike, so. Yeah. We are one mana shy of playing both of these. Eh, I mean, we were hoping they didn't have uh, a trick, so. Yep, that would have been nice. Man, if they do that pre-combat. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll just play Mega System. Keep up these nerds. Could go duelist duelist on this guy and triple block. Doesn't sound terrible. It doesn't make it a 5-5. Five, five. It's weird, like, during combat, it, it, it changes the power to their... to their regular power, to their to their high alert power. That was a good save. Can you still interact with it as over a 2-5? Yes, you can. But it's weird because you have to, like, figure out... Like, it's weird because it can't represent both, right? I can pump like a like a biscuit, so we're just gonna make this guy smaller. I mean, if they have another trick, it's like well, you can't can't play around it. Like plus three plus three blows us out if we drop block with all three, um, and plus four plus two is also pretty insane. That was like the one we were like, oh, if you have this, it's good. Yeah, that was like the one we were like, we should block with all three because in case you have stony silence. Stony strength, whatever. Man. Oh, boy.
Well, one, two, three. I'm sorry, what? Oh, target ourselves. Perfect. Bounce this guy. Take a million. Um, I don't think we're in a place where we can attack, actually. This has given us so much extra mana. I mean, like, I don't know if it's been great, but, like, we were able to play this on the same turn. Like, we were able to counter a spell when we, when we otherwise wouldn't have been able to. I mean, this card is actually busted. Guardian Project's pretty insane and limited. Seems really good for us. Oh, they still have this guy though. All right, let's get the law mages binding. Oh, we didn't, so eight, and we're dead. All right, cool. <laughs> seems good. Got a top deck. Did not. We oh, we're one two right now. This format's complicated. I don't feel like we're ever coming close enough for that. However, this might be just good enough. Actually. Twilight Panther might be good enough. Scuttle Gator also just might be good enough. That dude's just huge. Alright. So we can play this guy and play Guildgate. We can play Eyes Everywhere. I think it's probably just Eyes Everywhere and Guildgate here.
Uh, we have two. Do we need seventh land? Probably not. Probably not now, anyway. Just grasping thrall seems better than humongulus here. There literally are eyes everywhere in here. Um, Do we want this? Yeah, this is actually fine. We can play this, bounce this guy, draw a million cards. Is unfortunate. Yeah, I don't think it's worth that. It's a chili boy. Is that my Pegasus now? Aggressive. God, just not, being, not having to draw all these lands is pretty nice. Um, seven, we can go this and keep up these. I kind of just want to bounce this, even though they, like, they get to tap this guy down again, but I don't think I actually care. Like, we get to draw a card and play Dovin's Acuity again. Or we can just play Humongous here, which is pretty good usage. Yeah, I There's definitely the eyes everywhere mirror. This biogenic upgrade. Yeah, we'll keep that <laughs> deal. One, two, three, four, five. Well, Yeah, we can go eyes everywhere, your eyes everywhere. That's tech. Oh, 
Yeah, we'll keep that. That seems good. Oh, come on. It's unbelievable. You literally have your hand is exposed to daylight and frilled mystic. Sure. No, cancel those. I wish I didn't cast the to keep the thought collapse. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Well. Oh, we messed up. We were supposed to cast this. Yep. All right. So that's game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to win this game anyway. Like, they just get this guy back. It's like, we're pretty far behind. I'm really surprised these, the Pegasus got there. But, man, this format's actually pretty tricky because I don't actually know what metrics to exploit. Either way, hopefully we don't have any time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both of the links are in the description below. And you can also check me out on MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. So if you're in the market for that kind of thing anyway, please check that out. And you can use the affiliate link and you get uh, the discounts and I will get a kickback. So it helps me, it helps you. And uh, it's, a great, it's a great purchase because they're super comfortable. So be sure to check that out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.